That's a bad sign. That scarf wrapped around your arm. Where'd you get it? <laughs> You're never gonna find her. <laughs> what did you do to my friend? We burned them all, you know, in the old school. It was so easy. We just shoved them in there and locked the door. <laughs> you monsters. It just happened. All the lights went out, the damn bus lost control and crashed into the tunnel. Brought the roof down on us. Barely crawled out of there alive. Hell, some didn't. People all hanging around trying to get warm after the power went out. All huddled together, scared and freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would like to have seen that. <laughs> but we sure warmed them up. <laughs> You're a bastard. That's about right. <laughs> we put them all in the old schoolhouse so we could keep an eye on them. And then something happened to the lights. The power. It was like sparks everywhere and then... Your scarf lady found us while the school was burning. She tried to help get them out, but it was already too late. Smoke already did him in. <clears throat> uh. She fought like hell to try and get him out. She stuck a knife or a screwdriver, I'm not sure, into one of our guys. Cut me, too. And then ran out into the blizzard. <laughs> Where did you see her after that? You want to know about your lady? Help me first. Damn it, tell me where she is. We caught up, but... She's a fiery one. <laughs> Still had the knife. Got me real good, you can see. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. Somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. She got away. Whatever good it's gonna do her. If you so much as hurt... Ah, oh, we barely clipped her wings. She wasn't hurt too bad. Not hurt too bad. All right, she was bleeding. <coughs> A bit. <coughs> No way out of here now. The roads are all blocked. You'll never find her. <laughs> you have no idea how stubborn I am. After the old lady in the house, too? As well as letting those people in the school burn to death? Hey. You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Black Rock. Black Rock? Yeah, you know. Black Rock Federal Pen. <laughs> Where they put the worst of the bad people. The bad people, bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> it's like an old penal colony or some damn thing. Ah! <sighs> they know there's no easy way for us to get back. 
Imagine how lucky you are. All those people in Milton, scared, dying, and you getting to live. You hurt my friend. Maybe even killed her for all I know. You scared an old lady half to death. You let all those people die. A knife in the gut is the best it's ever gonna get for you. No! Oh, you son of a... So, we meet again. This what you do? Hang around campfires and share wisdom? These are confusing times. Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. I am an old man. I've seen many things. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've sinned. Now we're paying the price. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. Her warnings went unheeded. Whose warnings? Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. What do you mean, this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. Perhaps. Yet you take the role of the avenging angel. Choosing who will live and who will die. Avenging angel? Whoa. You talking about the convict? How do you know about that? Was it easier to do it? Thinking nobody would ever know. The guy was a killer. If I let him go, he'd have killed again. Or worse. I did the world a favor by putting him down. You might have. But die by the sword could be a tough philosophy for a civilization that's just been undone. Look, we've lived through lots of power outages, and the thing is, the lights always come back on. You might dispel the darkness at times, but the light is never coming back. Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. You don't deserve help. But here... Oh. Ooh. 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 oh, that's better. Now, I'll just sit here for a while. I think I'm warming up. <sighs> what do you mean this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. The end of Milton's story is a sad one. Too many people lost after already too much suffering. You chose to take mercy. To save a life that 
probably didn't deserve to be saved. You mean, the convict? How'd you know about that? Whispers in the wind. That bastard deserved to die, all right. But it's not for me to pass judgment on that. Let's hope you hold on to your merciful ways, and the new world doesn't just grind you to dust. Look, my friend is out there. I'm gonna find her, and then we're gonna get out of here. The power's gonna come back. They'll get the roads back open, Milton will recover. Everything will go back to being the way it's supposed to be. How do you know this isn't how things are supposed to be? Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs>